Have you ever witnessed a moment in a company's journey where you can feel the shift? Where the signs, the numbers, and the momentum all point in one direction? Well, today is one of those days. Because the latest developments surrounding Aptera aren't just exciting. They suggest something much bigger. The company is positioning itself to build its first 50 vehicles. And they're closer than most people think. Let's dive into the details, because what's happening behind the scenes right now might just reshape the future of solar-powered transportation. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And if you're an EV fan, or even just someone who loves seeing innovation unfold, you're going to enjoy this. Why? Because the news surrounding Aptera right now is not only encouraging, it's proof that the company is gearing up for something major. For the first time, we're seeing tangible signs that those long-awaited initial vehicles, the first fleet, the foundation of Aptera's journey, are about to become reality. And the evidence is much stronger than rumors or hype. It's backed by reservations, investor momentum, solar breakthroughs, grid advantages, and even physical battery pack preparation. So let's start right at the beginning. In a recent discussion, Aptera's leadership explained something that even longtime supporters found remarkable. They've built a community that isn't just big, it's mission-driven. Over a million people now follow their updates. Nearly 50,000 reservations have come in for the vehicle. And perhaps most impressive, more than 20,000 individuals have invested financially. Think about that. 20,000 real investors who aren't just cheering from the sidelines. They're placing actual capital behind the idea. On top of that, the Accelerator program, designed for early supporters who wanted to move Aptera closer to production, averaged investments of over $20,000 per person. That level of commitment is rare for any startup, let alone one redefining transportation. And with Aptera preparing for a major listing on the NASDAQ, momentum is building faster than ever. But reservations and investor enthusiasm are just the beginning. Because what Aptera is actually building is a category that literally hasn't existed before. One of the most powerful hooks Aptera has, and one that constantly draws people in, is this simple idea. A car that produces its own energy. This alone sets Aptera apart from every traditional EV on the market. Thanks to its ultra-lightweight design and aerodynamic shape, the vehicle can generate enough solar energy to power most people's daily driving without ever touching a charger. And that's not an exaggeration. In sunny regions, owners could receive over 10,000 miles per year of solar-powered driving. That's nearly a thousand miles a month, free. Imagine waking up each morning with miles already added to your range, just because your car sat in the sun. No worrying about plugging in, no fighting for chargers, no planning around charging stations. Just park, live your life, and drive. But the impact goes even deeper especially when you think about the electrical grid. Every year, discussions grow louder about EV adoption, grid capacity, and whether charging infrastructure can keep up. States like California are already planning all EV mandates, but the reality is simple. The grid isn't ready for millions of high-capacity EVs plugging in every night. That's where Aptera stands out. Since it relies mostly on solar power, Aptera subtracts from the grid instead of adding pressure to it. And for the times when you do need to charge, you don't need a complicated setup. A simple 110-volt household outlet gives you around 150 miles overnight. Most EV owners can only dream of that kind of simplicity. One of the engineers summed it up perfectly. In many households, people play musical chargers with their EVs. 
deciding who plugs in first because there aren't enough chargers or enough capacity. But with Aptera, the car removes that problem completely. And this leads to an even more interesting point. Whether someone loves EVs or not doesn't change the fact that adoption is skyrocketing. That's not speculation, it's data. Over the last few years, EV sales have continued to rise in the US. Analysts estimate more than 450,000 EVs will be sold by the end of this year, a massive jump from the previous year. Worldwide numbers are even more staggering. Battery electric vehicles climbed past 10 million last year, and projections show more than 13 million for the coming year. EV adoption isn't slowing down, it's accelerating. Now imagine what life looks like when a typical household has two or three electric vehicles. Not enough outlets, not enough chargers, not enough patients. That's where Aptera becomes the problem solver. One car in the driveway that charges itself, that doesn't fight for outlet space, and that saves thousands of dollars in installation fees, instantly becomes the most convenient EV in the family. And for retirees or low-mileage drivers in sunny climates, it becomes the first vehicle they might literally never charge. That's the true beauty of solar mobility. Now let's get to the topic that sparked this entire discussion. Is Aptera actually preparing to build its first 50 vehicles? The answer, based on what we now know, is a strong yes. Recently, a photo surfaced from inside Aptera's facilities showing rows of battery packs. At first glance, you could see seven packs lined up in a row. With multiple rows in view, each containing stacked units, the total count visible was 42 battery packs. But that's not the whole story. We already know several validation vehicles, including those required for crash testing, have been built. Those account for additional units that aren't in the photo. When you combine 42 packs visible, plus the already built test vehicles, you're already approaching 50 total units. And who knows, there may be more packs positioned out of frame or stored elsewhere. The larger point is this, Aptera isn't theorizing about production anymore. They are actively staging materials for it. This is what early production looks like, quiet preparation before the floodgates open. Once Aptera gets those first 50 vehicles into the hands of real owners, everything changes. Why? Because real owners become the ultimate ambassadors. They talk, they share, they answer questions. They show friends how a car can run on sunlight. Demand grows not from marketing, but from experience. And Aptera knows this. Getting those first vehicles on the road is the spark that lights the wildfire. It's the moment the company shifts from promise to reality. And based on everything we've seen, reservations, investor growth, solar capability, grid advantages, EV adoption trends, and now visible battery pack staging, Aptera appears closer than ever to that moment. You don't have to love EVs to appreciate what Aptera is doing. Not everyone will want a solar EV, and that's perfectly fine. But innovation has always come from people willing to do what others thought unnecessary or impossible. And standing here today, seeing the pieces fall into place, it's hard not to be excited. Aptera is pushing forward. They're building momentum. They're preparing those early vehicles. And soon, the world will get to see solar mobility in action, not as a concept, but as a real product sitting in real driveways. Personally, I can't wait to see these first vehicles hit the road. And I'm ready for the day when I get to experience that sunlight-powered freedom for myself. Until then, take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and stay tuned, because Aptera's story is only just beginning.